So is this DeWalt cordless battery operated power washer good enough for you for you cleaning off your machines? Well, let's find out. In this video, I'm gonna give you kind of my review, my opinions of that. So I specifically bought this DeWalt power washer. It's actually called a DCPW 550 because I wanted to wash my ATV and dirt bike and possibly do some other chores around the house. And I do have a regular power washer, but I didn't want something that had such strong enough PSI where it could damage like seals and bearings and maybe sensitive electronic connections. So this is a little bit of a softer spray, but still kind of like power enough, powerful enough to knock the mud off. So that's kind of like the reasoning why I went with this tool and so far so good. I'll demonstrate it in this video, but there's a few caveats. So this power washer unit does come with several different types of traditional power washer nozzles. You got the green, the yellow, the white, different uh, degrees of spray, but then you also have this like turbulent black nozzle. I forget exactly what the thing's called, but it kind of like spins the water as it's coming out. And the power washer only comes with this long nozzle here, and which makes it a little bit tougher to clean off like the nooks and crannies and like the fenders and things of your machines and toys. So I bought this shorty off Amazon, which allows you to kind of get underneath and into some of those harder to reach places a lot easier. So a quick heads up to you headphones users, I am gonna turn this thing on and run it. It is battery powered, so it could be a little bit loud, heads up. I've got the shorty nozzle hooked up with the that's this turbulent black nozzle, and it's got two little power settings. You switch low and high right on the back side here. I'm gonna start it off in low, give a demo of that, and then in high, give a demo of that. So here's low. And then here's high. quite a bit of difference if you want to do a little bit more delicate washing in low you've got that option and then of course in high you've got that option as well so now let's do a close-up and actually see this knock some mud off a machine so here we are in low setting turning on now I'm going to switch it over to high This mud is caked on from yesterday's ride, by the way, as well. So that actually works pretty well. That mud was kind of baked on and stuck on pretty good and it gets it off just fine. Here's another shot in high. Here's another shot in high. So one really positive thing about this unit is that it does come either uh, tool only, so no batteries, or you can buy it with the, uh, the DeWalt, DeWalt batteries as well. So if you already have a bunch of DeWalt tools in their regular 20 volt battery lineup, well, you can just get the tool only and save a few bucks. So I really like that feature. The batteries do stay pretty dry in this very simple to use compartment too. I've never, uh, never had like a wet battery after several washes of the ATVs and dirt bikes so far. So on to some of the negatives so far. So the, uh, I bought the tool only version, so no battery came with it, but it still came with some other goodies. It came with a, um, like a foam cannon jug just like this one and it also comes with this extra hose i could not get the foam cannon jug sprayer thing to work so i threw it away uh, that could have been operator error i don't know but i tried it multiple times and i just couldn't get it to spray foam properly i have this other one uh, just a cheap version i got off amazon and it worked perfectly fine the first time i tried it with the dewalt sprayer so I don't know if they're sprayers like junk or if I was just using it wrong. Also, this hose that it comes with, in theory, it's pretty cool. You hook it up to your to your power sprayer, and then you can either dunk this with a little bit of a filter on it uh, into a five gallon bucket or a huge jug or any other clean water source. And theoretically, you can just use that anywhere to spray off your machines. Now, I tried this in a like a seven gallon jug and I just couldn't get it to work. I kept the, the suction 
down beneath the water the whole time. And again, I, I could not get it to work either in low or in high. But the second I hooked it up to the hose, it works perfectly, no problem. So just something to consider. Again, I don't know if it was operator error, but I could not really get this system to work that well at all. So all said and done, I'm really happy with the tool, quite honestly. Uh, I read a lot of like kind of sketchy reviews. This thing doesn't have a very high star rating, regardless of where you're looking at these reviews. Uh, but I took a chance on it just because I was desperately after something that wasn't such as it wasn't as powerful as a traditional power washer but was more powerful than your regular hose because cleaning out these machines off with this thick like sticky clay mud here on the east coast at least it just takes forever especially if you can't get them to the machines straight away and it has time to really kind of like bake on so this thing has just been a dream I use it uh, every single time now. I actually look forward to washing the machines now because I know I'll get it done pretty quickly. Previously, I was just using the hose because I was so afraid of just, you know, ruining my seals and bearings and all, all those sensitive components with a traditional power washer. I know you can be really careful and still get the job done, but I just wanted one tool where I could kind of do it all. So, so far, so good. We'll see how long it lasts. Thanks for watching.